okay, it's that time of year, pollen's flying in the air, people are sneezing, you know, we have some congestion, runny nose. How do we know if it's allergies or perhaps the sign of a more serious problem? So allergies cause inflammation of the lining of the nose, which is something we call allergic rhinitis. And usually that is typically mild, the mucus is clear, uh, it happens during certain seasons, but it can happen year round, and it usually affects both sides of the nose equally. Uh, sinusitis is a deeper inflammation of the sinus cavities, and that's usually more severe symptoms. The mucus is usually yellow or green in color, which may be a sign of an infection. Uh, you can have fa facial pain or pressure and loss of smell. And uh, this is typically due to just something more serious. If uh, the symptoms are only on one side, we start to wonder, is this something other than just allergies? Okay, so if somebody though does have these symptoms, who do they call? Should they just call their you know, family doctor or should they seek out a specialist? Your primary care physician can start you on a lot of the treatment that we recommend initially. And a lot of the treatment that we recommend is all over the counter. So we usually start with a sinus rinse or a neti pot twice a day to clean out the nose from all the allergens. Uh, and over the counter antihistamines such as Zyrtec, Allegra, or Claritin can help symptoms such as sneezing, itchy, watery eyes. And then we also have nasal sprays available. The most common spray we use is a steroid spray that's over the counter that can help decrease the inflammation of the nasal cavity lining. Okay, um, and you are a specialist, right? You have quite a, um, a very impressive title. I'd love for you to share with us what you do and how you can benefit those who suffer from sinus problems. Yeah, so I'm an otolaryngology head and neck surgeon. Uh, we were classically called ear, nose, and throat doctors, but our specialty as a whole has kind of transitioned to emphasize that we treat both medical and surgical conditions of the head and neck region. And then I would specifically call myself a rhinologist and school-based surgeon. I did an extra year of training in sinus uh, surgery so I can really address those complex diseases of the sinuses that maybe a general ENT or general otolaryngologist uh, may not be able to. Okay, now if somebody does suffer from sinus problems, but they're just like, oh, I'm gonna deal with it. Explain some of the other serious conditions that can happen if those sinus problems go unaddressed and then how would you treat them? Yeah, so our sinuses are right next to the eyes and actually right below the brain. So there's thin bone that separates these two areas. So anytime there's inflammation or infection and then things like tumors, can easily spread from within the nose to these areas, and that's where you would be more concerned if you're having vision changes, mental status changes, or any neurologic signs that something more serious may be going on. Okay, and then also COVID-19. I know we've heard a lot of uh, people having a side effect of losing their sense of smell. Is that something that you can address? Yes, yeah, so loss of smell has been treated by otolaryngologists for decades. Uh, the most common causes are sinonasal disease, so just like sinusitis, trauma, and then post-viral. So a lot of viruses can cause smell loss, and COVID-19 has just kind of emphasized that viruses can do that. Uh, we're doing a lot of research in our field as to why COVID specifically is affecting the olfactory nerves, and we're trying to do more research into how to treat it because it can be a difficult area to uh, assess inside the nose and then we don't know why specifically the nerves are affected and those can sometimes be difficult to treat with just standard therapy so um, there are some you know treatments that we can try but not all of them have been successful in everyone yeah and speaking of treatments too i understand that san alfonsis is now addressing diseases that otherwise would have been sent out of state for treatment but now you're able to address them here at saint alfonsis so explain some of those cases that you're able to address now and why is it important yeah, so with my expertise, I'm able to access a lot of things just within the two small nostrils. <laughs> so tumors along the brain, tumors within the nose. Uh, those used to be kind of sent out of state to Utah or Portland to higher academic centers because they have more resources to take care of those. But now that I'm here uh, and in collaboration with my colleague, Dr. Chuka from Neurosurgery, we're able to kind of access these areas that were previously much harder to get to uh, solely through the nose. And so, you know, at St. Alonzo's, we now have a school-based team that can take care of those complicated diseases. 
Wow. Okay. So if people are suffering from sinus problems and they need to seek or they would like to seek your help, where can they go to learn more? They can go to the stalfonsis.org website and uh, get a referral to make an appointment so that we can see them. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Greatly appreciate it.